Mikiel Swiertz, born in 1618, was a Flemish painter and printmaker. He led an itinerant life, working in various cities including Rome, Brussels, Amsterdam, Persia, and India. Swiertz was associated with a group of Dutch and Flemish painters called the Bambocianti, known for depicting scenes of low life. However, Swiertz's contributions to the genre displayed a greater mastery of style and a deeper social philosophical sensitivity compared to other artists of the time. Despite his success during his lifetime, Swiertz and his work fell into obscurity until the 20th century, when he was rediscovered as one of the most intriguing and enigmatic artists of his time. Mikhail Swiertz, born on September 29, 1618, in Brussels, had a mysterious early life with little information available about his training. In 1646, he arrived in Rome, where he became associated with the circle of Flemish and Dutch painters linked to Peter van Laer, the founder of the Bambocianti movement. During his time in Rome, Swiertz painted genre paintings in the style of the Bambocianti, depicting everyday life of the lower classes in Rome and its countryside. He also created a series of canvases portraying the activities and training of painters in their studios. Swiertz was recognized as an associate of the prestigious Academia di San Luca in 1647. He resided near Santa Maria del Popolo and had connections with members of the Congregation Artistica dei Virtuosi al Pantheon, although there is no evidence of his membership. Swiertz taught Willem Reuter, another Flemish painter influenced by the Bambocianti, during his time in Rome. Unfortunately, the details of Swiertz's career in Rome remain fragmentary. However, it is known that he left Rome in 1652 and returned to Brussels. In his later years, Swiertz focused on religious and allegorical subjects, as well as portraits. He developed a unique style characterized by soft colors, delicate brushwork, and attention to detail. Despite his talent and contributions, Swiertz's reputation declined over time, and he fell into obscurity. It wasn't until the 19th century that his work began to be rediscovered and appreciated again. Mikhail Swiertz continued to create art in his later years, even though his career was overshadowed by the French Revolution. In fact, he won a government competition in 1796 at the age of 80. His talent was recognized by Napoleon Bonaparte, who made him a senator. Swiertz passed away in Paris and was buried in the crypt of the Pantheon. As an artist and teacher, he had a significant impact on many talented individuals, including François-André Vincent, Jean-Antoine Theodore Girist, Jean-Baptiste Regnault, Joseph Benoit Subi, Jean-Pierre saint ours François-Guillaume Menagier, Jean-Joseph Taylorson, and his son, Marie-Joseph, who also became a distinguished painter. In conclusion, Mikhail Swiertz, a Flemish painter and printmaker born in 1618, was a highly versatile and enigmatic artist of his time. Despite his association with the Bambocianti, Swiertz's mastery of style and deep social philosophical sensitivity set him apart from his contemporaries. His career took him to various cities, including Rome, Brussels, Amsterdam, Persia, and India, where he left a lasting impact. Swiertz's work, initially overshadowed, was rediscovered in the 20th century, solidifying his status as one of the most intriguing artists of his time. His ability to capture the everyday life of the lower classes in Rome, as well as his later focus on religious and allegorical subjects, showcased his versatility in talent. Swiertz's unique style, characterized by soft colors, delicate brushwork, and attention to detail, continues to captivate audiences today. Despite facing challenges throughout his life, Swiertz continued to create art until his passing in Paris, leaving behind a legacy that influenced numerous talented individuals.